morning and welcome to morning prayer this morning. Uh, you can see I'm uh, Reverend Amanda Spence and for those that do not know me, hello, good to see you, very welcome. And I'm here at St Polinus Church in Crayford, um, part of the ministry team here. And for those who know me, a warm welcome. And again, for those who are new, it's lovely to have you with us this morning. Um, when asked by uh, a member of uh, the congregation if uh, I could do morning prayer by by this window, um, and it's the rolling. I don't think you can see it very clearly. We have very beautiful windows here, um, but this is uh, after the uh, election, and the uh, stone has been rolled away uh, from the tomb. Um, so um, we'll begin this morning uh, uh, with our prayer. Uh, the readings today are Psalm 116, verse 7, Isaiah 49, verses 11 to 16, and the second letter of John, verse 12. Um, if you'd like to find those readings, you're very welcome to, but of course, I'll be reading those out today. If you wish to follow uh, the words of this uh, morning prayer, they are available on stpolinus.co.uk on the uh, This Week page and on the Daily Prayer page. You can download those, but again, um, I'll be reading those out. Um, and if you'd like any requests for prayer, um, please email us, all our contact, or if you need anything at all, just email us and uh, we will um, we'll get in contact with you. All our contact details are on the website, uh, sopolinus.co.uk. So let us still ourselves as we begin our prayer for this morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. One thing I have asked the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you sing all your heart? Amen, Lord, have mercy. Do you sing all your soul? Amen, Lord, have mercy. Do you sing all your mind? Amen, Lord, have mercy. Do you sing with all your strength? Amen, Christ, have mercy. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. So we now have our first reading. Psalm 116, verse 7. Return, O my soul, to your rest, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. Second reading, Isaiah 49, 14 to 16, sorry, 15 to 16. Truly, you are a God who hides himself. O God of Israel, the Saviour, all of them are put to shame and confounded. The makers of idols go in confusion together. Finally, our reading from the second letter of John. Verse 12. Although I have much to write to you, I would rather not use paper and ink. Instead, I hope to come to you and talk with you face to face so that our joy may be complete. And the, today's reading from the Celtic Daily Prayer as follows. If my lips could sing as many songs as there are waves in the sea, if my tongue could sing as many hymns as there are oceans billows, if my mouth filled with the firmament with praise, if my face shone like the sun and moon together, if my hands were to hover in the sky like powerful eagles and my feet ran across mountains as swiftly as the deer. All that would not be enough 
to pay you fitting tribute. O oh Lord, my God. We have a meditation for today from, again, the daily Celtic prayer. Receive our thanks for night and day, for food and shelter, rest and play. Be here our guest and with us stay. Saranam, Saranam, Saranam. For this small earth of sea and land, of this small space on which we stand, for those we touch with heart and hand, Saranam, Saranam, Saranam. In the midst of foes, I cry to thee, from the ends of earth, wherever I may be, my strength in helplessness, O oh, answer me, Saranam, Saranam, Saranam. Make my heart to grow as great as thine, so through my hurt, your love may shine. My love be yours, your love be mine. Saranam, Saranam, Saranam. For those who've gone, for those who stay, for those who come following the way, be guest and guide, both night and day. Saranam, Saranam, Saranam. Saranam is the word for refuge. We continue now with our prayers for others. And if you would like any prayer, please do let us know. And we will include that. So let us pray. Father, we thank you for the dawning light which wakes us morning by morning and for Jesus Christ, the true light which enlightens all who have come into the world. In his name we ask you, Lord, show us your love. Open our eyes to the wonder of your creation. Let us respect the world you have given us. Lord, show us your love. Let our humble thanks for each new day be joined with prayer and work until your kingdom come. Lord, show us your love. Lead all peoples estranged by hatred and war to be reconciled in the peace of your Son. Lord, show us your love. Brighten the days of the aged and infirm and grant them your peace. Lord, show us your love. Strengthen all who minister to your people and help us support them in their need. Lord, show us your love. Bless all who have died. We especially remember Raymond, whose funeral is coming up next week. And those that have died and their anniversaries fall on this day. In a moment, we can take a time of quiet to remember them now. Grant them a share in your eternal life forever and ever. Amen. Merciful Father, we trust in your might alone. We pray for your healing touch to make us whole. May Christ grant us healing of mind, body and spirit, deliver us from every evil and grant us your peace. And Lord, we pray this day for all those who suffer, all those who are anxious and all those who are fearful for work and for, and for money, for those who may be isolated. Remember now those on our own heart. Remember those of this parish of St Polinus and the community of Crayford, we particularly raise to you Robert and Belinda, Fiona and Lucy. And those who are unwell of this congregation and on our long-term prayer list. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We finish with um, 
our final words of uh, daily prayer this morning. Christ is a light, illumine and guide me. Christ is a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me. Christ on my left and my right. This day be within and without me. Lowly and meek, yet all-powerful, be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me. Lowly and meek, yet all-powerful, Christ as a light, Christ as a shield, Christ beside me on my left and my right. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.